Hello and welcome to the hands-on binary analysis in Linux course. As introduction, let's take a quick look at the course structure and review what you learned and get knowledge of that. You have six sections. The first one is an introduction of ELF file format. And as you might know, the ELF file format is a common standard for shared libraries, code dumps, and object code files. So during the course, it would help if you had a clear understanding of that. And what's more, our hands get dirty. And you will see how we can load and parse practically and a file with Python. The second section is uh, completely practical, and uh, we will be doing some fun stuff. We will focus on the most important dynamic and static analysis tools, which an analyst must be, be familiar with them, such as RedElf, Archdown, Ltrace, Strace, and so on. In the part of the debugging tools, uh, you will learn GDB server and remote debugging techniques. Uh, which will uh, come in handy in debugging other architecture binaries like R. After that, uh, you'll learn how your operating system loads and executes an L file. The third section allocated to another hands on analysis part, where uh, you learn about process dumping, code injection, binary instrumentation, and emulation, and also unpacking some packed binary files. The last part of this section will cover uh, fundamental symbolic execution. Uh, section 4 will cover most of uh, the protection methods uh, used in commercial software products or personal tools that the owner uh, doesn't want his secrets to be revealed. Uh, some of those techniques are like visualization in binary level are beyond this course and focusing on them needed another course. So here you know, we will have a fundamental review of them. All software protection methods are a uh, double-edged weapon. Good guys uh, might uh, use them to protect their product against crackers and reverse engineers. But bad guys might use them in their malware to make difficult detecting and analysis process. Section 5 uh, will uh, talk about uh, what techniques are used in malware, how they infect a process, file, or system. And finally, hunt some of them manually or with the help of sandboxes. In the last section, uh, we will uh, talk about uh, Linux kernel modules, how they work, what the rootkit is, how rootkits infect the system, and hide from detecting. And then, Wrap it up with uh, how we can hunt with kids. Let's review some of the prerequisites. You should be familiar with basic programming uh, with Python and C++, operating system architecture and assembly language. It doesn't need to be advanced. Some familiarity with computer security and binary debugging is needed, because this course level is intermediate. So. If you have a binary lifestyle, this course is for you. Now, let's go right into the course.